Some items you're gonna need to start off reselling, you definitely need a scale. I've got my scale. Uh, a scale is the most important thing. I wish I would have gotten a scale earlier. I definitely have made some shipping mistakes. Sometimes you can hold up an item and say, oh, it's only one pound, but then whenever you go to send out that label and you actually get it weighed, and it weighs triple, quadruple what you thought it was, that adds up and you could be losing out on all your profit on that sale. But what happens if you're going on a trip? Well, eBay allows you to put your items and your store on vacation simply by going to the time away feature in the My eBay account. And then when I return, I do the same thing, plug in the dates, give myself a full day after I get back from my vacation. So that way I know I have more time than what I need to get the orders in together. If you're shipping something very valuable through the United States Postal Service, use ship cover insurance. It'll protect you and your item. So when I have an item that's over four or five hundred dollars, I do use the ship coverage that is offered uh, through eBay labels. I use the eBay app more than I use my tablet or computer for a lot of things to research items that I'm looking for, but also updates and alerts from orders that I'm getting to be on top of messages orders that come in for, from potential customers. And it's pretty easy after a while of just taking the time, learning how to use it, the search engine, the camera on there. Hazmat is something that may be a scary word when it comes to shipping. But in reality, anything that is under pressure in a can or liquid can be considered hazmat. Very, very important to realize that you can ship it through the post office. It just cannot go through the ear. So it has to go through surface. Guess what time it is? It's time to ship.